Hello guys, welcome to another video. So, I had a question on my sound card video. I had somebody ask me what, um, how to configure it and uh, where do you hook up your uh, cords and stuff in relation to the inputs on the back of the sound card. Um, I'm not going to pull the sound card out from the back of the computer because it's a little bit of a uh, pain in the ass to get to the actual back of the card. So I am actually going to use this quick start guide that came with the with the uh, with the with the card. So as you can see here, so from uh, from the first top three. For the first top three here, you got the three inputs that go into the actual module here, which is this right here. Okay. So two of these are actually bypasses. Alright, so your microphone and your headphones are actually bypass to the back here. If you can see these two wires over there. Which I've got my headphones and uh, and temporary mic off of my gaming headset plugged into the air at the moment, so it's just a pass through from from the sound card onto here, and then this cable right here is actually what connects, what actually controls everything on the sound cards through this one over here. All right, so as you can see over on here, mic in and headphone in on this side over here all right now on the bottom on the bottom part of the sound card there's a, there's a slot down here which is this one right here this is actually a digital digital output on here so if you've got a receiver that has digital input you can just hook up to here and you can get the full surround sound going into the audio into your receiver okay also I believe this is also an output as well so it acts as an input and an output there's speakers that you can actually buy to have a digital a digital input instead of an analog and if you do happen to find something like that and if you're really picky with your sound and stuff that'd be the ideal way to go and you'll get the full the full surround surround sound effects through that connection there okay so you can also just go straight from the mic and go straight to the back of the card so you can completely bypass the module as well okay and you can also hook up your headphone directly to the back of the card as well we can also bypass the uh, the control module okay so if you've got a, a a 2.1 speaker system is like what I've got over here, which I've got, I've got one, two, and then I've got a sound woofer done on, done on the floor. This is what the setup I'm running right now. And right now I am in a market trying to find some 7.1 surround sound speakers to go completely to go with the sound card as well. So if you got that type of setup, you'd hook up your uh, your uh, sound card. Your speakers, your 2.1 speakers on this connection over here. Okay. So then, if you've got a four-channel setup, you would actually use you use your front and your rear to run uh, to run your your. Uh, your three or four point one speaker system. And then if you got a five point one surround sound system you would actually use these three here to hook it up. Now it depending on depending on what kind of uh, what kind of uh, speakers you have some of them like like mine is just the one input that controls the two speakers and the subwoofer all together into one unit. Uh, a lot of the speakers have some type of a control module built in, 
built into either the subwoofer itself or some type of a um, control module like a remote control or something that controls all that stuff so if you actually want to run if you actually want to run a full surround sound system on here right you would hook up you'd hook up all these three all these four connections all together providing that the speaker system you have actually supports it now if you're gonna run for 7.1 surround sound off your computer the best thing to do is to run it off of some type of an amp and run it that way where you can have its individual speakers that you got your center your two fronts your rears your subwoofer and you know things like that so if you like watching movies if you like watching movies off of your computer and stuff that'd be the best way to go but uh, if you just run on computer speakers then you would be hooking up if if your speaker system just has just the digital in you would eliminate these three and just hook up just hook up the bottom one here and don't worry about the rest of it right if it doesn't have that you'd be hooked up to the three to the three of them connections together so here's a better close-up of what's here this is your microphone line in so this one here if um, if you have um, audio you want to record off of your uh, receiver like for example if you want to record out of the analog CDs from your receiving to your computer instead of just digitizing them or if you have uh, um, some type of an audio source that's analog you'd plug it into here and then this one here would be your headphones right and this is where your uh, your main box link would be so the cable that comes from the box would have this one this one and this one all together okay and then you got your front speakers your rear speakers and your center now depending on the configuration of your speakers right you may be using only two of these you may utilize maybe three of these or you might utilize all four of them or you might just utilize this bottom one here depending on your speaker configuration okay so hopefully that answers your question is what to hook up to wear on the sound card all right so now on the software part I'll show you what I have configured so you get kind of an idea what what I have set up so just keep in mind that what I have set up is pretty pretty basic at the moment and um, yeah so basically this is what the software looks like it's called the Strix Sonic Studio you download, download this off of uh, off of you know, the website ASUS's website it might even it also comes on the CD but I don't recommend using the CD I recommend downloading it directly from ASUS's website you keep, you have the most up-to-date software available through the download but if it comes down to an emergency where where you absolutely have to install the software and you can't get online for a particular reason and then by all means go ahead and use the CD and once you get the computer online go ahead and update it so I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of what what this software looks like so on uh, on this section over here you've got your inputs from uh, from your different speakers so when you're playing music and stuff this will actually moves up and down so you keep track of your levels all right and then uh, your uh, your input devices you've got your speakers and you've got your digital in or out and then your headphones and then your playback volume your mute button and your configuration button here your playback configuration because I'm only running 2.1 I've got mine set for stereo and also depending on what speakers you're using, you got 4.0, you got 5.1 and 7.0, you'd, you'd set this up for for whatever speaker setup you actually have. And to get the best possible sound out of your system, I recommend running this at, uh, at 192 hertz. 
and at 24 bits. And then you've got your input device here, which is your microphone or your line in. And that's your mute button. This is how much volume that's coming in to the software. So, of course, the higher the better, the lower the quieter. So I've got this muted right now because I'm using a different software to to record this right now. So I don't want to be config. I don't want to don't want to uh, interfere with each other. Okay. So profiles. You got different profiles that are preloaded here. You got music, communication, gaming, racing, Aces, Oran, Aces, Vulcan Pro, Flat, FPS, RGB, and movie. So. RGB FPS would be the type of games that you're playing and this one here is also be a gaming mode uh, you'd use communication if you're using for example like Skype and you're talking to somebody uh, through Skype or MSN Messenger and things you might want to change this over to communication right racing is a, a racing game so a lot of these different ones here are are the different um, game modes basically what I would call them okay so then of course if you're watching a movie on your computer you might want to change this over to movie or if you just want to listen to music just keep it on music I mostly use my keep mine on music for, uh, at most of the part anyway so you can actually save different uh, different profiles as well so when you make changes on these different settings over here you can actually name it differently and you can actually can set up a preload on here and you just when you drop this down and your preload will actually pop up in here as well alright so equalizers I actually got mine turned off at the moment you can actually turn it on and you can actually adjust the different uh, levels your bass and your trebles and so forth because I've got a basic speaker set up right now I usually just keep that turned off um, I'm a, I'm a bass fanatic, even though I've got a small subwoofer, but it does give it a little bit of a punch. So you can actually enable that on or off. It gives you a bass boost, and of course, the higher you bring this up, the more bass you're gonna you're gonna have. But then also, it also depends on the type of speakers you have. Too much bass, then you get distortion, and then it's gonna sound not good. And, so you will have to kind of play around with this and get to the ultimate level that you enjoy. So next we got here we got voice clarity. You get the on off here. Um, I've played around with this a little bit. I don't know if it's because I'm using the speakers off my gaming headset. If it doesn't make very much of a difference or not. I will be investing in a better microphone down in the future here. But for the moment this is what I'm using and I'm going to stick to it at the moment and compressor I've played around with this here I'm, I can't figure out what exactly what this does at the moment I don't know if it's because of the uh, of uh, if it's because of the speaker setup that I have at the moment or if it's a microphone setup I have it's pretty basic but I'm sure if I get into into a higher end uh, speaker system I'll, I'll probably notice some more of a difference on that than anything else so then over here you got virtual surround if you're the type of person that likes to hear surround sound like I do um, you can turn on virtual surround sound and actually assimilate surround sound off of your headphones and also off of your uh, 2.1 speakers you can either have this turned on or off you can have it set it for balance front pinned or rear pinned well, I've got mine turned on to balance at the moment reverb on or off reverb actually creates kind of like an echo effect and then you've got the different stadiums and stuff when you turn this excuse me when you turn this on and you've got the different studio theater live and bathroom church and stuff like that. that's actually pretty cool to play around with then you can adjust how to, how how much of an effect you can actually receive so I actually turned mine off because I don't really use it very much at the moment um, noise gain when you have uh, your microphone turned on and you're listening listening through, uh, through your computer speakers instead of your headphones you'll get the feedback 
um, having this turned on and having this turned up higher it actually cancels the two out so you don't get no feedback so if you get any feedback you want to adjust this to uh, to fix that and then perfect voice I've played around with this and I can't really tell the difference between this at the moment like I say it could be because of the limited speaker the limited microphone that I have for my gaming headset or not but once I get a better microphone then I can better figure out how uh, how this actually works so that's just an overview of of the software and how I kind of have mine mine uh, mine configured um, just another note here on uh, on this on this uh, module here actually if you take if you take and adjust this the lights actually move up as you can see that and of course the more lights you have the louder it gets okay and then if you actually press it right now I have it set up for speaker mode if you actually press down on it it switches over to the headphone so you have access to your headphones here then again and when you take and turn this you'll actually uh, it will actually raise it up and lower it right and also when you have the software open when you're actually touching this the main volume the main volume actually moves up and down as you also turn this we can also take in if you have a keyboard like the way I do that actually has a volume control on here and as you can see when I'm moving this up and down you can actually see the volume move up and down as well and if I press on it it actually goes into mute as you can see up on the corner up in here that it actually mutes and then also on the software on the software over here if I press on it you can actually see oops I can actually see how it lights and this lights when I actually have everything turned off also on on there when I press the mute it actually goes uh, goes all the way down and you press it and it goes all the way back on again and it also works both ways on the speakers as well so when I push this up it goes up push it down the volume goes down and when I click on it it actually goes it clicks on red I don't know if you guys can tell that or not so let me just cover up the light to kind of hopefully you guys will be able to see that so there's a button here that says raid mode on it I can't figure out what this is at the moment I don't know if it's because of my limited uh, speaker setup that I have and microphone, but once I figure this out, I may release another video down the road explaining exactly how this works. So that's pretty much it on the explanation. Hopefully, this helps you what you're looking for. And um, I know that this channel is more more designed for for unboxings and things like that but if you did enjoy this video please subscribe um, just a reminder that I am giving out a Nintendo Switch I'm looking for a thousand subscribers to activate this uh, the giveaway um, you know if you did enjoy these type of videos like this and if you want me to try to answer more questions down the road on on the sound card or or the video card or any computer related questions you know just just letting you guys know that I'm not a computer expert I am I'm just computer literate I'm pretty knowledgeable on computers and things like that I'll try my best to help you out if I can't help you out I'll, I'll surely point you to the right direction where you can get help for any uh, any computer related questions so if you got any questions Please don't hesitate to uh, to, uh, to comment down below on this video, and um, hopefully this was helpful. And uh, thanks for watching. Until the next video, goodbye.